Hey guys, Brian and PS4 Trophies. I'm gonna play a little Mirror's Edge Catalyst here with you. This is the closed beta that has just started recently. And this is actually my second time kind of going through this. Uh, my first time, I didn't do so well and I recorded a whole little Let's Play and I might've been a little harsh on the game because I don't think I was comfortable enough with the uh, controls. And that's really kind of my biggest concern with this game is the controls and how uh, easy it would be to navigate and move to do the, the parquet, uh, parkour moves. So I wanted to just kind of start from scratch here, start over, so I can be a little bit more fair with my assessment of the game. Now, this is a beta, as you will see, the little kind of watermark scrolling across the screen. Uh, I'm not sure why they do that. I'm also not sure why there's subtitles in a text uh, screen here. But nonetheless, there they are. Uh, and again, this is my second time through it. I was a little, again, harsh on my uh, my opinions of this game because it does take a little bit to kind of get used to the controls and everything. And I never played the first Mirror's Edge game, so I apparently needed a little bit of warm-up time. Uh, my goal here is to kind of play through the tutorial beginning section here, and then I'll probably skip forward and do one of the story missions uh, in the game. But Noah can't know. You owe me a lot of script, Faith. I expect you to deliver on your promise. Every new day holds a promise. Wasting or spend it advancing yourself. Further in your prospects and your career. As a future employee of a corporation of your choice, your possibilities are infinite. The key to success lies in unlocking your inner potential through hard work and relentless dedication. As an employee, you are expected to perform at the top of your abilities. Last day, huh? And you constantly strive to I thought we'd keep you here forever, Leech. Work is rewarded. Or maybe you'd like another three months. Laziness punished. It would be so easy. Personal freedom comes at a Come price. Come on, let's go. We got a full day ahead. Our great society expects every employee to contribute to the corporation of their choice. Has served a 12 month sentence to which nine months rash for several incidents of insubordination. Deemed ready for conditional release. Now, if it was up to me. <clears throat> Upon release, you must seek immediate employment and will be monitored through your grid link. If you do not find employment within 14 days, you'll be relocated to a Greenland facility. Do you understand these conditions? Just get me out of here. Work hard and you will be rewarded. Dressing rooms to the left, Leech. And rise to high caste levels and enjoy riches well deserved. Dogen sends his best. Enjoy your freedom. All the major corporations operate here, so there should be ample opportunity for you to find new employment and lead a happy and productive life. You have been given a rare second chance. Make sure not to Report deployed. I'm Gabriel Kruger. All right, guys, uh, we got control here, and uh, as I mentioned, this is my second time through this because my first time was terrible. I don't expect me to be that much better. Hopefully slightly less terrible. That's the goal. All right, so we're going to do... Uh, a lot of like tutorial stuff here in the beginning. And hopefully I'm a little bit more prepared for this. You could be anyone. Well, you'll just have to trust me. Here, take this. I want to get off the streets. A beat link? But put it on. 
We need to get you connected and calibrated. I know no one's eager to talk to you. What the hell? Come on, we need to get moving. Ah, there's something wrong with this. Oh, sorry, almost forgot. We have to cut your grid lead. It's causing the interference. Is this what the employees see all the time? Yeah, I guess you're not reformed enough to enjoy it. I'm not reformed at all. There you go. You're off the grid. <sighs> now they know you're gone. Time to get off the ground. All right, here we go. Hold L1. And it kind of springboards us. Got ourselves a little melee combat here. So a square for light attack. Simple enough. Triangle's heavy attack, of course. As you would expect. I made it inside. Can someone tell me what the hell is going on? They were gonna send you to a Greenland food dome face. We had to get you now. Cutting your grid link makes you a fugitive, but we planned for this. Took us what two minutes to become a fugitive? I'm not sure I like balancing sections, uh, really in any game. A wall run in here for you. Kind of fun part of this. It's pretty easy. I didn't have much trouble with that. Where I did have troubles, where he had to do a, a a jump to a wall or jump off during the middle of a run. Some swing in here. You just hold the L1 button down, you'll make it across. I do like how they kind of incorporated the tutorial here with the story. It doesn't feel so forced. Uh, there is an upgrade you can buy where you can do little rolls when you drop. Oh, shoot. I did not see him coming. Aside. And now they know you came this way. Like I had a choice. Sure. We need to clear out. Better take a different route to the Everdyne Tower. We'll split up again, keep them confused. Can you make it across to those pipes? Of course. Good. Your beatlings should be calibrated by now and your runner's vision working. Just follow the red and I'll meet you at the tower. Let's go. Now the first time through this I had a little difficulty with this. 
but uh, I should be able to get this now. One would think. There we go. That took me about three attempts last time for some reason. It's quite possible I'm just not meant for this game. <laughs> but like anything, uh, it's just a matter of learning it and getting comfortable with the, the skill sets. Because there's a lot of unique control schemes here that you've never experienced before. Oh! Alright, failed that. There we go. And there's a lot of skills uh, you can purchase and upgrade when you level up. More combat. Hit R2 to kind of do a dodge. They haven't taught us that yet, but I already know it. So this is a movement through a lot of the city. Uh, you're, it's a big open world game. Kind of reminds me a lot of like Assassin's Creed. And here's where I really failed last time. Kind of have to hit R1 and then hit R1 again to jump. Or L1 rather, I'm sorry. Ooh, I forgot to do the L2 with a soft landing. So L1 and then L1. So it, it's gonna, I mean, for people new to the series, it's gonna take a little bit to kind of get used to everything. And wow, I completely, <laughs> completely failed to get under the uh, zip line there. Should probably do a running uh, dash and then kind of hit L1 to jump. There we go. So one thing I did notice is the frame rate. Now this is a beta, as the game consistently reminds you of. And the frame rate kind of uh, suffers at certain points, especially during cutscenes even. The pre-rendered stuff, and then uh, also just while you're, you're playing the game naturally. Again, it's a beta. Hopefully it does correct itself. Maybe it's one of those things that the PlayStation Neo would uh, alleviate. Who are you, anyway? When did you join the Cabal? About a year ago. Well, I grew up with them. So how about you cut me some damn You sweat? also got caught and caused a whole lot of trouble for Noah. You don't know what happened. I know enough. And I know that I'm faster and safer than you. Faith, are you at Orion yet? I'm here. It's a bit crowded with new guy and his ego. Knock it off, both of you. Look, we are out of options. The only way out is through the Everdyne Tower. And with Kasek there, you're gonna have to fight them. Icarus, upload the combat mod to phase me, Link. All right, gun. Good. Faith, use the mod to freshen up your fighting skills before you go on. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but looks like we don't have any choice. Don't worry, Noah. I can do it. I know you can. All right, we get to do some combat here. Uh, more combat. So in addition to uh, being uh, the frame rate issues, I can't help but think that this would be an awesome uh, PlayStation VR game. And you're going to do a heavy attack here. Three triangles. And then you can directionally kick these people as well. So it's kind of, it feels kind of weird to have to hit the triangle button and then the left stick, which is also the stick you move. So it's kind of, it feels a little weird, but you will get comfortable with it. All right, case it comes have calmed down a little, but they know you're out there somewhere, Faith. And they know you'll have to go through the tower to get out. And the streets are not an option? We'll never go to ground if we can avoid it. You know that A traversal attack, attack uh, from yeah, springboard to deal high damage. So in the middle of the air, we're gonna hit the uh, triangle button. Excellent combo. 
again. And then do it while during a slide. I mean, the combat's uh, not too difficult. A little easy, maybe. I haven't played much through... Uh, once I got to the open world part, I didn't play much, so I'm assuming obviously it gets much more difficult. All right, so same thing here. Wall jump, triangle, heavy attack. All right, low damage causes hope. So we're going to hold L2 to go under during the slide hit triangle. All right, attack from swing to deal high damage. So again, we're going to do the swing and the cross. And then hit triangle. Why? What difference would that make? You read up on the Connors family history and you'll get why Icarus. Excellent combo. Then we can do it during a wall run. Ooh, and I failed. Try it again here. There we go. It's a good way to take out enemies is if you're doing traversal attacks. All right, retry or continue. We're gonna go ahead and continue here. I'm ready, Noah. You always were a fierce fighter, Faith. Springboard through the window. We can do that. L1. L1. I'm inside. One of the concerns I kind of did have going into this is just the first person view. I, th I had a feeling it might make me nauseous. Uh, and it did at first. Um, now a little, bit, a little bit more fluid with the commands. Oh, what happened here? I guess we could just skip that guy. All right. Yeah, see there, I was trying to climb the wall. So sometimes the controls get a little screwy. <laughs> uh, but overall, it's a fun. It's a, it's a cool concept, obviously. Now, a lot of people like the original Mirror's Edge game. I don't think it did so well uh, commercially. But a lot of people loved it. So that was a little fun kind of traversal attack off the wall there. We call for backup. She alone. She Oops. Be here. Control. Yeah, it's just getting used to the controls because it's really... It's different than most other games, so you just won't be able to approach this and uh, kind of instantly know what you need to do. guy just assumed we were dead. You see that a lot in games. In movies. Uh, I think we're going this way. And yeah, look at that. That's going to happen to you. And it's a little frustrating. It's kind of part of the reason why I didn't like the Assassin's Creed game. Because sometimes that... Uh, you didn't exactly do what your character, what you, or you didn't do what the character ultimately did. So, although that was probably my fault, 
I'm certainly doing far less of that now than I did the first time running through here. So, I mean, it's like anything, you just gotta learn it. Uh, what happened here? Oh, I'm heading the wrong way. Then why did they face me the wrong direction, then? Okay. Here we go. I feel like I'm kind of going in a circle here. It's a good thing that the enemies don't respawn. Oh, I guess they do. The other one didn't. So yeah, that can get a little disorientating the uh, first couple times you... Am I going the right way? I guess so. Wall jump, jump again. There we go. We're heading the right way. Kind of looks the same, all the same, doesn't it? The environment. The old elevator shaft to the roof trick. Okay, here we go. And uh, again, after this little kind of tutorial section, once we get to the open world, I'll probably just kind of cut to a uh, one of the story missions, kind of show you how the open world area works, uh, the feeling, and actually I think we're about ready to hit there. So I will come back here in a, in a little bit. And uh, we'll take a look at one of the uh, story uh, missions. Alright, I'm back. And uh, we're uh, a little bit further here. I did some main story stuff, did some side missions. A lot of the main story missions kind of felt more like uh, extended tutorials of what we uh, already kind of played, which is good because I needed that. Uh, I definitely feel a lot more confident, but it appears that this is really kind of the first main story mission uh, that's got any kind of meat to it. So I decided to hit the record button. I hadn't played this before, so let's go ahead and kind of give this a run through here. And I noticed a little frame rate issue once again. Again, I'm experiencing uh, quite a bit of that here in the in the beta, but it, again, it is a beta, so we're going to head to our objective. Now, I noticed there was, and speaking of, here's a collectible. Now, I'm going to tweet something out about this, so if you, you follow me on Twitter, at PS4 underscore trophies, and wow, I screwed up that landing. Uh, you probably already uh, saw this, because uh, I'm going to definitely tweet something out, but there's 697 collectibles in this game. I think half of them you can get to appear on the map if you purchase a certain upgrade, uh, from what I can tell. And I believe that's absolutely a ridiculous amount. I'm assuming there's trophies related to finding all 697 of them. But let's go ahead and here looks like this is where the mission is going to start. So let's see here. It's back in the game. Let's go ahead and, and accept that. I don't know who this guy is. So it seems this is your lucky night. Why? Found an open window for you. Easy way inside. That doesn't sound right. Is there security really that lax? Who knows? Want to abort? I'd be more comfortable going in myself anyway. What is that supposed to mean? That you have a rep is all. But go ahead. Prove it wrong. Make us some script. All right, so we're going into this building. We're going to go retrieve something. I, I cut out the intro cutscene, and I'm not going to show the uh, the one. I'm assuming there's one at the end of this, just because I don't want to spoil any uh, story elements. I do like the zip lining here in this game, though. Again, I'm not very good at playing and talking at the same time, so let's go and see how this, this uh, pans out. And I do mad props to any of the other YouTubers out there that do Let's Plays really for a living and are able to 
talk and play at the same time. I don't know if my brain is capable of doing that. And this is a really cool looking building. So it looks like we're just going to follow this around. Now, if you see in the bottom left corner, there's uh, three uh, uh, bars down there. Uh, that is your health. And uh, to the right of that is a the focus shield. And as you fill that up, when you fill that up, you can become, uh, uh, you're able to dodge bullets. So there are enemies that will shoot at you. So I'm hoping there's going to be some confrontation at some point in this mission. Again, this feels like the really the first uh, main story mission. And again, I did a couple, but they really felt like extended tutorials. Some of those, I don't know how to get up here. Are we go climbing up this way? It's like that's the case. But, you know, there are a lot of more tutorial stuff. There was some uh, kind of like racing things, getting from point A to point B in a certain time, which is kind of cool. It definitely helped uh, improve my navigation. How do we get up here? We can climb these green thing? Yep. So we're going to... Uh, Oh, there's some people here. So yeah, people is a good sign that hopefully we we do run across some uh, some enemies here. Now I'm definitely getting a, a little bit more comfortable with the traversing. And when I first started this game, I was kind of lukewarm on it. And as I play and as I get more comfortable, as the, everything becomes more fluid and, and makes more sense to me in my brain, uh, it's definitely becoming more enjoyable. Uh, so at first I was like, eh, I'm not really sure I care much for this game. And now I'm thinking, I'm really looking kind of forward to it. It's going to, hopefully, it's going to be fine. Now I do kind of think maybe the voice acting is a little kind of weak. But I haven't played too much of this. But so far I'm not too impressed. And of course I've already highlighted the frame rate issues I've been having. What do we got to do here? Oh, the elevator is going to lift us up. So yeah, there's definitely going to be some people here, which means I'm going to probably embarrass myself. And once I start mixing in the traversing and the combat and kind of putting all of that together, uh, that's where I'm probably still my weakest. There's the line. Now where do I go? Turn around? Ah, there we go. So the fact that I haven't fallen and died yet is uh, is definitely a clear indicator. I'm getting a little better. I think Abel Kruger is here. Now there's, this is obviously a game that you, it's traversing and running, and that's really kind of the core of the game with these other, you know, things kind of mixed in. Oh. Well, I guess we knew that was bound to happen, didn't we? And what I was trying to do is springboard. So as you approach that, that red object, uh, hitting the L1 button would springboard you up. Maybe I just didn't have enough running speed kind of up to it. And there, oh, the skill roll is kind of mentioning there, uh, keeping momentum after high jumps. I actually just unlocked that. Uh, and basically what you do is when you're jumping, falling from a height, you hit the uh, L2 button, I believe, and you will uh, turn it into a roll as you hit the ground. And that'll allow you to keep your uh, momentum and then your uh, shield uh, bar there at the bottom. You keep that up. It's just, the, it's just me trying to remember to actually do it is kind of the problem. I wonder if I could have climbed up this pole here with the, the green handholds there. Probably. Of course, with this game, there's many ways you can get from point A to point B. Uh, the marker here I'm following, the, the red wisp, is kind of... It tells you the, the way to go. It doesn't necessarily tell you the fastest, the quickest route, though. And another vent here. We're going to go and climb through here. What's the data we're grabbing again? Sorry. That Faith is grabbing while I babysit her. A new enzyme. Some sort of nutritional enhancer. Raposa wants it. Alright, is there anybody in here? Okay, nothing. It looks like we're still just gonna, gonna jump around here. Good. Connect any terminal in workroom 4H. The shotgun will do the rest. Find workroom 4H. That looks like it's above us. A lot of white in this uh, in this world. I'm gonna guess that housekeepers and maids probably make a pretty good penny in this world. Trying to keep all these walls white and clean. 
and for the furniture and everything. Even that, there's no kids in this world. Okay, well, it looks like it's below me. Yeah, too high. Okay, jump down here. And I forgot to do the roll there. That's a dumb roll. Firing the shotgun. There's someone else here. This will look like a run. Just get out of there. Sorry. But I'm gonna check it out. Of course you are. I'll just sit here then, hoping you get out in one piece. Had it been me. Alright, follow the intruder. Easier said than done for me. I just I want you back here alive and safe, okay? Alright, so we gotta go up. I do like how it guides me. I do appreciate that aspect of this. It was a nice little wall run, and then at the end of it, it kind of jumped again. Okay, where do we go? Turn around. Ah, there we go. Ooh, what happened? I missed it somehow. Yeah, so there, there are still some frustrating moments for me where I, I don't make the jump that I think I'm supposed to make. There we go. So, I mean, it could be just I suck. <laughs> Which is highly likely, or that you just have to be a little bit more precise in in the, in the game. Maybe I don't know. Maybe the the window is a little too small. I don't know. I'm just going to assume it's me. A cool looking room. Here we go. Looks like this is it. Faith, grab it, grab it. Let's go. Stop her. <laughs> All right, so we got to find a way out here. So I don't know if we're going to fight or just run. Oh, we're running. They're shooting. This is where the focus meter is going to come in handy. Where hopefully we can. Yeah, there we go. Use traversal to build focus shield. Focus shield lets you dodge bullets. All right, so let's. Uh, I guess we're just going to ignore these guys. Oops! Oh crap! My yeah, focus shield is not building because I'm not using traversal. Here we go. Oh my God! Where do I go? Where do I go? Throwing a little combat there. Yeah, there's a lot of people. You can't just sit back and take these guys out. You definitely want to. There's that the skill roll thing I was telling you about. The L2 right before you hit the ground. Hey, alright, we escaped the building. Almost died in the process, but you know what? It's a win. It's definitely a win. Now, I will say that this would be where am I going? I'm going to go back to the 
beginning. So that looks like where the mission's gonna end. I'm definitely gonna cut it prior to uh, getting to the end. I just don't want to spoil anything. But I really, really do think this would be a kick-ass uh, uh, VR game. So maybe that's something they, they do, they patch, maybe they have kind of like their own little standalone uh, Mirror's Edge title that they release. I, I do think that would be pretty kick-ass. So again, I'm really enjoying this game uh, much more as I'm getting more comfortable with it. And it does, I, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I think it comes out in June. I think it was delayed into June. I don't know the exact date offhand. But it does have a lot of little social elements. You can create races for other people. You can do other people's races, checkpoint races, and, and things like that. So there's a lot of uh, functionality, a lot, a lot more depth to this game than uh, the original game from what I'm reading. So I really do look forward to uh, playing this once it does come out. And there's the end of the mission. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it here so I don't spoil anything. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe.